Okay, look at what we got here. We got a cardboard box with some bees around it. <laughs> now what we've actually got is a swarm. And for whatever reason, they're on the ground. On this hose. Which, you know, it's not normal for them to ever want to be on the ground. I don't know if the queen's injured or what. It looks like a decent sized swarm though. Maybe a pound and a half or two pound swarm. Uh, bigger in person than it was in the pictures. But this particular swarm is on the church property where we go to church and where uh, my daughter attends preschool. So they were looking for some help. I'm going to see if I can help. So I, I texted them today and I said just go out there and put a box over them just to kind of give them some security and maybe make them a little less, a little less likely to feel threatened if somebody walks by. And uh, just one by after work today to see what I can do. So I was hoping they would all just crawl up inside the box and I could just close the flaps and take them home. But that's not going to happen. Um, so what I'm going to do now is take the box off close the flaps, cut them a little, cut them a little access hole just like a nook, and give them a little shot of uh, Swarm Commander in there, and hopefully at least get them to run into the box, and uh, then I'll swing back by later this evening and just pick up the box. So there's a little little clump of them here inside the box, and you guys probably can't see them. A little clump of them decide to start crawling up on the inside of the box, but not all of them. And so I'm just checking over that clump real quick, trying to see if the queen is in there. Of course, I don't have my cage, so what's it matter? Really, I just want to know if she's even here. Maybe this is a big old fat queenless one. It's not on this little clump. Okie dokie. I don't see her in there, but yeah, we're just gonna close them up here. <laughs> now this is good. This reminds me of one of my favorite episodes of a raunchy television show called It's Always Sunny, where the guy has a bunch of hornets in a box, <laughs> and he's trying to deliver them to a to a guy he doesn't care for very much. So I'll have to mark this box with a big H. Or B, I guess a B. So. Let's see. I guess I cut that wrong call that a vent hole. <laughs> I cut their access hole on what was the top is now the bottom because I want them to be able to clump on the glued seam, not glued, taped seam, a little bit stronger than the folded seam I made there. Roll them back over and see how many times I can get them flipped upside down and twisted around. Shot ought to do it. Oh, yeah, that's got him happy. Now we'll just set this over here beside him. And see if we can't just smoke him to it a little bit. I don't want to spend too long out here chasing them because I've got other things I got to go do. If I can just get them marching, I'll be happy. Well, maybe not that big of a swarm. Maybe only a pound. Not huge. Woo! That might be too much. The swarm commander's potent stuff, remember. need to get them moving. Here's our queen. We do 
know the queen. She's here. A little thing. Could be a virgin. Now I lost her. I couldn't catch her. She knows I'm after her. I got her. <laughs> we'll go inside and see if I can't find a little cardboard box or something to put her in. Best we could come up with. <laughs> Two styrofoam cups taped together. Got the queen in there through the hole in the bottom and I taped it up and then cut some air slots. So now I'm just going to put this inside the box and uh, hopefully they'll recognize that she's in it and they'll start running into the box. I got them all pumped up on the outside but not want to go in. Fools. Being crazy fools. Well, it's not a perfect march, but it's getting there. They're at least running in the hole now. Before they were running up to it and then running away. I don't know if the, if the swarm lure was too much or what. But they're at least going in the hole now. I want to see some of them start propping up and fanning. I cut two more entrances up here just because they seemed like they wanted to crawl up the outside of the box. And they're not necessarily running in those, but maybe they will. But I got them at least moving over to the box. So hopefully that's enough. I'm going to smoke them real good here a little bit more. And then I'm going to head home and I'll come back this evening and pick them up. Ideally. There we go. That's a little better. Still not a solid march, but definitely running in and staying in. Um, they were wanting to go under the box. I don't know if they were wanting to go under in the, in the flaps on the underside or what. But now I'm moving in. I picked up the hose because they were just wanting to crawl all over that hose and I couldn't really work with it there. Um, so. Hopefully this helps get the box set down on the ground and turning the box so that that dark hole is on the sunlit side, that does help. It'll help them identify that that hole is a dark spot as an entrance they might want to have. So I think we got them for now. I'm going to smoke them a little bit more and head out. Come back later.